Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. You know, it's how YouTubers get paid and it's how I'm going to bring you free airdrops and everything. We're going to start a liquidity pool here with my YouTube channel by viewers watching. So, that's the deal. Please like and subscribe. If you want to learn how to make an ERC-20, please keep tuned in. Uh, first of all, guys, I'm not a financial advisor of any kind of sort. I'm not a spiritual guru. I'm nothing like that, man. I'm just a hexagon that sits at, that likes to, uh, that, that hex, when, got introduced to hex, and uh, I preach it now. So, But today we're going to learn how to make an ERC-20 and launch it on the Pulse Chain Test Network. So what we're going to do, um, first things first, got to have a med mask, and you have to have Pulse Chain hooked up inside of it. If you don't, I suggest you go back and watch my previous tutorials on how to do that. But we're here. We're going to make this real quick today, guys, because I have a 10-hour drive. But uh, um, so what we're going to do, we're going to make a ERC-20 token. What's an ERC-20? If you don't know what that is, I su suggest that you go to look it up. <laughs> but like I said, we're going to make this real quick today. If you follow the link down below in my GitHub, if you push onto that, you'll come to this page. Which is going to be for this little project that I got going on here. It's going to be for uh, how to make an ERC-20. Tomorrow, uh, um, the next video I release will be how to add liquidity to it. And then how to trade it on Uniswap or any kind of other exchange. So, but first, just today we're going to concentrate on this ERC-20 token. So, push on that. We come to here. And this is the smart contract that's going to make you your own currency here, people. Um... So, with that being said, we're just going to want to copy and paste the whole the entire thing. Now, listen, people. You never trust somebody else's smart contract. This is a tutorial, and it's you know, just out to show you what to do. This is an honest contract, but not all contracts are honest, people. So, my advice to you is before you would go and uh, buy any coin or whatever, you can always copy the code and run it through... Uh, uh, open AI to people that make chat GPT they also have codex so you can run any code through codex and it'll tell you exactly what that codes about so that's a that's a good that's a reach around for you all today all right so we got that next thing we're gonna do down in the uh, description below we're gonna want to come to remix project and this is just an uh, IED ed editor that we're gonna use to file our smart contract onto the pulse chain so when this opens up, we are going to be on a screen that looks like this. Okay, when we get here, we just want to go into contracts, up here, create a new file, here, and uh, I think this coin is called Kaka, I mean this token. People, the difference between a token and and a coin is a coin has its own blockchain. So it's a native currency to a blockchain. So Pulse will be Pulse blockchain's native currency. Pulse X would be a token on on Pulse chain because it's not the native currency. It's just a token on the chain. It's very important to know the difference between a chain, a coin, and a token. But I got the Kaka. I think I called it a coin. So I'm just gonna keep that. Kaka coin, I'll put token, do it the right way, do it properly. Kaka token dot soul. So whatever your name, name your coin, you want to put it in here because this is your contract name. All right, so with that, we'll push enter. And we bring it up to this screen. What we do here, people, is sometimes this works, most of the times it don't. Nope. So when you get here, you're going to have to push control and V. And it's going to tell you this do you trust this contract blah 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 so if you don't you can take it over and run it in codex if you want to but i'm just trying, this is an honest contract it's it has burnable and uh ownable options so what we want to hear this contract kaka so whatever your whatever your ticker symbol is going to be which would be this part like if it if your coin is uh uh marcy stort coin or token you can see you should put mct you know your call letters for your ticker uh but whatever you want to do there it's your token do what you want um but we're going to come down here 
the next number is people. You will have 1 million tokens when you file this contract. Um, if you're just going to trade with family and friends or just have your own currency, this is totally sufficient. If you're starting a project that you need more tokens, um, you should know a little bit more about smart contracts and look into them because these numbers, are they jive with the contract. So you can't really change those numbers unless you know what you're doing. And this show is not about that. So right here, you're going to want to put Kaka token or whatever the name of your coin is. And over here in this in these brackets, you want to raise that. And you want to put in your call letters, people. Capitalize them. It should be three or four letters. But I don't think there's any kind of rules of how many there can be there. But just realize it's going to be it's going to be the uh, the call number of your token, the ticker symbol. Okay, that's all we got to do. That is all you got to do with that. It's a good contract, but you can take it over here, run it with Solidity. At one time, you used to have to make sure your compiler version was matched up with your with your Solidity version, but you don't even have to do that anymore. You just push uh, compile, auto compile, and then push that, and you'll get a green check right away. See, it's a good contract. There you go. Now, if that's not green, if there's something wrong, you did you filled in the the your little three or four spots here. You filled in the main wrong, so go back and check it. All right, then we're going to push compile. We already did push compile. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, launch it. Push the next symbol down here. And we're going to go here. Inject provider with MetaMask. People, this is where you got to make sure that your, your wallet is hooked up to Pulse Chain. And that you have a couple pesos in there so that you can uh, launch the contract. So we're going to push this. It's going to bring up our, our MetaMask wallet. Oh, shit. Fuck me. Shit. This should have been open already. I don't know why it's closed, but it is. <clears throat> All right. So. It's there. This is how you check it. Inject provider MetaMask, custom 942 network. If you go to the blockchain, a uh, pulse chain, chain ID 942. So that's where it's going. Uh, all right, so now we're going to have to deploy it. Now your MetaMask will open and it's, if it's unlocked, it'll do it. It'll do this. I don't know why mine was locked, but it was. Okay, we're going to push confirm. Deployed, transit, not payable. Transact, don't worry about that. It's it's payable and it's it's launching. Creation of Kaka pending. See it down here in the editor in the uh, in the terminal. And this is telling us that uh, my contract's launched. So people, if you come here, oh man, back here. If we go back to MetaMask. We're gonna have to do this again. Um, fuck it, fuck it, man. This is only a test wall anyway, so I'm not really too worried about it. But I just don't know why it's like that. You know why it's not taking my freaking password. So, we come here. Contract deployment. Um... So we're going to go here. We're going to go into MetaMask. View on Ether on Blockchain Explorer. We've got one token. Oh, that's the one I made yesterday. But like I said, this is a test wallet, people. So it's really nothing. But there's a the shit token I made yesterday. Here's the Kaka coin. Okay. Here it is. We're going to do this. Copy the address. Drop your MetaMask. Assets, import, paste, Kaka coin 18, and the MetaMask. There you go, people. I got 1 million Kaka coins. People, that is how you make an ERC21, I mean, an ERC20 on the Pulse chain, blockchain, and uh, stick around.
my next video is going to be how to add liquidity to this and then we're going to learn how to put it on a uniswap and trade it as pairs so thanks for watching i appreciate it and i'll see you in my next video i appreciate you all good luck good health and good fortunes